I think you will bleed to that now. Come on. Yes, you did. <laughs> oh, isn't it cute? You went into puberty. <laughs> hey there, awesome and amazing people. My name is Fusonus and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. Yay, we are back with an Ark Survival Evolved video. <laughs> In this video, we're going to take a look at three new creatures that have been added to the additional creatures to Wild Ark Mod. The first one is this one. It's the Baryonyx. No, <laughs> that's not the first one we're going to take a look at. The first one is behind it. It's the Icti Ovenator. I took the saddle off so we can nicely check out the model and check the weird spine over here. So, uh, th th thank you for that. I, I didn't need your poop. <laughs> check the weird spine. So this one is related to the Baryonyx, if I'm correct, and also to the Spinosaurus. And Shadeless asked me for a creature suggestion that could be added to this mod, and I suggested the Icti Ovenator. I think it looks cool, and especially with its funky spine over here. And here you can see some pictures of the internet. So you can see that it has a weird looking spine. And here you can see the picture that Shadeless and Milo used to create this character. And for me, it is, uh, yeah, I need to get used to this mask on its face and a little bit on its hands. Because uh, I'm not used to it, but I, I think it looks cool. And they did a nice job with the model and with the painting as well. And here you can see some different color variations of the Icti Ovenator. And if we take a look at the model of the Baryonyx and that of the Icti Ovenator, you can clearly see there is a difference. Of course in size, but they have also done some remodeling on it. Especially with the head. The head is totally different. The mohawk is gone. But, but check it out what is, what is happening over here. <laughs> there is a little mistake. The tongue is poking through it. So uh, that needs to be uh, put back into its mouth. That needs to be fixed. But the Icti Ovenator also went into puberty. Take a look at this little goatee over here. Aw, oh, isn't it cute? He went into puberty. <laughs> oh man, oh man, oh man. But the model, I, I think the model looks nice. So uh, let's put the saddle on it. The Icti Ovenator is much faster in the water. And the Baryonyx is faster on land. So we're gonna take them out for a walk. And let's see who is faster. And as you can see, the Baryonyx is much faster. But if you're gonna take a swim with them. So uh, there they are coming. Check it out. Meep 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 the Icti Ovenator is so fast it is just just insane it is really 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 insane how fast it is and also the swimming is different so uh, let's get out of the water you two come on oh no 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 oh come on uh, uh, attack attack help help him out you need to help him come on do your thing we can see the demons now 94, 48, and don't don't attack me. And uh, the Baryonyx got killed, but check it out, the Icti Ovenator is still alive. So uh, uh, st stop, okay please, stop stop stop. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yeah 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 yeah. You do a lot of uh, uh, damage. Come on. And before I'm gonna go on an adventure with the Icti Ovenator, we're gonna take a look at the stats. So the stats of a Baryonyx are 440 health, 325 stamina, 325 weight, 175 melee and 120 movement speed. And this one has 100% movement speed, 175 melee, 370 weight, uh, 600 stamina and 560 health. Okay, we're gonna take a look at the... Oh my god, trike! What? Dang it! I wanted to show the people something. <laughs> I wanted to show you the attack. So we have left mouse click. It's the bite. Right mouse click is for in the water. It's the spin attack like the Baryonyx. But you cannot spam it. And then we have C. C is the raw. But isn't that exactly the same raw as, as, as this one? Oh, I was hoping that it would have its own sound. But it doesn't have its own sound. Oh, that's a shame. So, so uh, yeah, but basically it is the same as the Baryonyx. And this one can jump as well. But the Baryonyx cannot jump out of the water. And this one can jump out of the water. So we're gonna dive with it. And if you are on the surface of the water, you can jump. And oh my, <laughs> oh my god, that is so cool. And if you go for a swim with the Baryonyx, you can dive. But you cannot dive straight down. At least uh, not, not like this one. Because check it out can just dive straight down how cool is that we can pivot we can turn we can dive i think this is really 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 awesome if i go diving with the baryonyx it just goes straight 
it it is going horizontally down and i i think it is way cooler uh, the way they did it and the ictiovenator also has a buff it says apex pisky 4 in the right top of the screen your ictiovenator is terrifying nearby fish so uh, fish will be terrified for us and if the ictiovenator is not on full health you can kill fish eat fish and you will gain extra health. The health regeneration is working the same as with the Baryonyx. But this one also gains health from the Megalodon, the Nideria, the Electrophorus, the Anglus, the Manta, the Dunkleosteus. They will all heal this one. And this Apex Pisky 4 buff is also a debuff for the creatures that we're gonna fight in the water. At least the creatures are the Silocant, the Piranha, the Salmon, the Megalodon, the Nideria, the Electrophorus, the Anglus, the Manta and the Dunkleosteus. They will get a debuff. Their attack and resistance is down to 60% of their base. So uh, we're gonna take a look if we can kill these. We do 126. I, I guess they are mate boosted as well. So uh, I guess versus one creature we will do much more damage. Oh yeah, we have the spin as well. Does the spin work on them? Oh, we killed at least two of them. And it works. Yes, it works. Ah, uh, yeah, they are now not mate boosted and we do 188. I didn't level up uh, anything about the damage. We only leveled up... Oh, we do 163 now. We only... Oh, 188 again. <laughs> we only leveled up the health. But yeah, this one is really strong and... I like it, I like it, I like it that we can go jumping out of the water. That is just <laughs> that is just so fun to do that. On land we do 62 versus this one. And uh, can we kill you? Yes. Do we also do 62 then versus you? Yeah. Keep in mind that the Apex Pesky 4 debuff is also working on your own teams. And also on allied teams. So they get the debuff as well. And, of course, this only is for the creatures that I've mentioned before. The Shilokan, the Piranha, the Salmon, the Mangalodon, the Nideria, the Electrophorce, the Anglus, the Manta, and the Dunkleosteus. <laughs> that was a mouthful. And uh, we're gonna kill you. Yeah. Oop, dip, 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 dip. You're not gonna get away from me? Nope. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> And in case you wonder, the Ichthyovenator is immune to radiation, to electrocution, and also to getting stunned. And then it is time for the creature that a lot of you hate and also love. It's the Tickle 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 Saurus. <laughs> a lot of you hate this one, but this one has a little brother or sister now. And this one is called the Sagnosaurus. I didn't know that this uh, one really existed in real life, but it did. And it is relative to the Terracinosaurus. I believe they are in the same family. And as you can see, they clearly use the same model. It has some feathers over there, also on its back. And I believe also here on the neck, a little bit of feathery things. And the head shape, it is different than that head shape. So they did some remodeling and I, I think it looks cool. So uh, we're going to put a saddle on it. And then we're going to take it out for a spin. And oh yeah, we need to check the stats, of course. At level 1, this one has 520 health, 450 stamina, 150 uh, oxygen, doesn't matter. Uh, 325 weight, 175 melee and 100% movement speed. And the Tickle Monster at level 1 has 870 health, 300 stamina, 365 weight, 175 melee and 100% movement speed. Sadly enough, this Sagnosaurus cannot tickle creatures to death, so it is not a little Tickle Tickle Monster. <laughs> But this one has a left click and it's the slash attack. And this one does a little bit of knockback. It can gather berries and it also shreds, penetrates armor. And it can get a, a flint, metal and rock. So uh, we're gonna test it out. And as you can see we got stone, flint and also metal. So left click at level 1 does 73 damage. And then we also have a right click. So let's check that one out. That is a raw. It is some kind of raw raw. It has a small delay. And there we go again. <laughs> a funny raw. C is bite. And this will get a meat, berries, fiber and honey from beehives. That is really cool. And uh, I want to check that out though. And we have X is the claw slash attack. And it, this will hit twice. Low damage. But it will penetrate shreds armor and causes bleeding. I think you will bleed to that now. Come on. Yes, you did. <laughs> awesome. Thank you for that. So we can harvest the meat. And I'm gonna look for a beehive. I want to check if it really works or not. Okay, I found ourselves a beehive, but it is up in the tree. So I'm cheating. I'm flying. But we're gonna press C. Oh, and there we, there we go. And, and and did we get it? Did we get it? Check it out. Oh, a lot of honey. Can we do it again? Do we get even more? No, we don't get more. Okay. 
And if you store honey, prime fish meat or prime meat in the Segnosaurus, then it will stay good longer, so it doesn't spoil as fast as in any other creature. And the Segnosaurus also reduces the weight of some things in its inventory. Metal, for example, is down to 70%, fiber to 0%, fish meat to 10%, honey to 10%, and flint also to 10% of its original weight. Oh my god, what is happening? No, you. No, you stealers. No, I don't like you. No, 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 no. We're gonna make you bleed. Oh, we're gonna make you bleed so bad. You wish you were never close to us. Come on. We're gonna make you bleed and you're gonna die. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is one. Okay. And the other one. Incoming trouble. Go away. Go away. Come on. Oh my god, you're hard to kill, but we killed you. <laughs> and you wanna take it out? Oh my god. Why, 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 what, what did I wrong, did wrong, my god, speaking, oh my god, I must have the heat stroke in here, this room is bloody hot, <laughs> but, oh, what, no, 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 don't do that, don't bite us, okay, uh, we, we got them, <laughs> we are clear now, and then it is time for the creature that is standing behind me, and oh my god, this one is big, it is gigantic, it's the Fasola Sucus. Fasola Sucus. I don't know, I butcher all those names, but check how gigantic this one is. And this one belongs to the family of the Raui Sukit. I, I really don't know how to pronounce all that kind of stuff, but at least uh, it is in the game. And oh my god, it is big. It is. <laughs> oi, 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 oi. It, it, it looks good. And if you can tame this giant beast, then you're lucky because this one has reduced damage. It is heavily armored. It takes only 60% of the default damage. It takes next to no damage at all from firearm projectiles that are hitting its back. And th th that is just insane. We're gonna test it out later with a wild one. Because if I shoot at this one now, we don't see any damage numbers. So we're gonna test it out later, but we're gonna check out your stats as well. At level 1, this one has 900 health, 520 stamina, 520 weight, 175 melee and 100% movement speed. And of course, you can ride this creature with a giant saddle and you can sit on it. But check it out, it is barked. I'm sitting up in the air and this is the only way to do it. Sadly enough, that cannot be fixed. If they fix this, then other animations don't work with this creature. Well, I don't mind sitting up in the air if this means that we don't get broken animations. So uh, that's totally fine with me. But let's see the attacks. It has left click. It's a bite attack. We have right click. It's taunt. Oh my god. Oh, uh, uh, it has... Oh my god. Oh my god. That is, that, is <laughs> that is scary when that is coming towards you like that. C is a strong bite. And this deals the same damage as a normal bite. It has a cooldown, but it also inflicts bleeding. Uh, X is a headbutt. Okay. And then O is snort. Snarl. Ah, that is uh, some kind of a raw, I guess. We're gonna left click and see what kind of damage. 87. And we're gonna do the C one. Also 87 and that one does bleeding. Yeah, we see them bleed. So uh, let, let's kill these small ones over here. And let's see the bleeding also on this big guy over here. So we're gonna do it again. See? And yes, of course, they, uh, it is bleeding. Oh my god, it is bleeding massively. <laughs> that doesn't look healthy at all. Okay, the X attack, we can also do that while running, so let's do that. And we do 63 damage. And if this Parasaur would have a rider on its back, then that rider would be dismounted. So you dismount enemy riders as well and doing a knockback to them. And this creature is also immune to electrocution, bleeding, uh, sandstorms, radiation, and it can also not be caught on fire. So you cannot put this creature on fire. Okay, so on land it is pretty fast, but how fast are you on the water? Well, not that fast. You're not a fast swimmer at all. <laughs> so you better use this one on land than in the water if you want to move quickly. Okay, I spawned one in and it is trying to bite me, so let's shoot its head. We do 25 and it's back. We do 0 and we do 17 over there on its side, 19. So yeah, we really do indeed reduce damage. So you better shoot it on its head because it takes much damage on its head, but on its back it doesn't take any damage at all. I'm curious if it will work for torpor as well though, if you shoot its back if it doesn't gain any torpor at all. Take a look at the torpor, it is now 0 of 1600 and uh, of course they're gonna fight each other. So uh, let's shoot at its back, does it gain any torpor at all? It does gain torpor. Not my oh my god, only six with the shocking dart? Really? 
Okay, let, let's try its head. Let's see if uh, if that will work. Okay, it is on zero again, so we're gonna test it out again, but then we're gonna shoot its head. So, uh, come on. Yeah, okay, we hit the head. Do we deal more tarpa? Yes, we deal much more tarpa. So, that also affects... Oh my god, I'm inside of it. <laughs> so, this reduced damage thing is also affecting how much tarpa this creature will get. I really like this update with the three new creatures and uh, I like this big one as well and, and this taunting. Oh my god, is this, <laughs> it is just so cool to do. It looks so awesome. So, a uh, nice job, Shadeless and Milo, with the additional creatures to Wild Arc mod update. And when they bring more new creatures to this mod, I'm gonna check that out for you. So, that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, leave any thoughts about this video or whatever in the comment below. And as always, if you haven't already and want to see more in the future, then smash that subscribe button like a maniac. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.